guys, Bambi here with Creatively Bambi. As you can see, I'm in my car. I live in my car, honestly, right? Like if you have kids, you're in your car. I eat in my car. Have I slept in this car yet? No, I haven't taken a nap in here yet, <laughs> but I would if I had to. Sometimes I work in here. I mean, everything. This car, I'm in here all the time. I have a Toyota minivan. This is a Sienna. And fun fact, this is our third Toyota Sienna minivan. Third one, anyone with a minivan. If you have kids and you're driving a minivan, if you are the main caregiver for your kids and you are in and out of your minivan, you know that thing gets beat up. So we've upgraded over the years. This is our third one. We've been so happy with them. Anyway, I want to show you guys the way I organize my minivan okay it's fairly well organized right now so i'm going to show you the way i keep things running fairly smoothly in this minivan and all the little nooks and crannies that make me love it so darn much we're going to start here on this side because this is the driver's side this is mommy's area right so this is obviously my view when i get in the car and i like to have everything right at my fingertips so this here is my little area. First, right here in this little pocket, I always, I'm gonna say 99% of the time, I have gum and I have my chapstick. That is like, it stays right here. I love having those things right there at my fingertips. Down below, I have tissues. I have my favorite hand lotion in the whole wide world. This is from Whole Foods. I love this stuff. So I have that, whoops. And then I have a container of wipes. And then I also have this little doodad, which I think I grabbed it like Marshalls or something. It just goes right here on the vent. And then you can slide your phone in it like this, right? So, look, you can see my camera reflection <laughs> in there. So, that's that little thing, right? So, I keep that there. And then... I also have this little change thing. I know it has these little change holders, but who has time for all that? I just always drop it down in there. Over here is the little, let me put this back, is the little middle section of the car. Now here are two extra drink containers. I love, one of the little things I like about this is that this comes out. Not that I really use it that much, but I really like that. Down here is a little more storage. I have, my husband has some sunglasses down there and my daughter has hers down there. And up here is my sunglasses storage that I like. And it has this little mirror thing that latches so I can see all my kids in the back really well. I don't really know that I use it that much, but I really like having that for my sunglasses. And down here in the middle, I always try to keep this area pretty clean for the most part. That's where um, I like to put my purse. And sometimes I put it in the back, but if I don't have anything down there, I like to drop my purse right there. There's a charger for the phone, and they have those are throughout the car. And then here, two more drink holders. Obviously, I have my water. You've seen before I'll have my coffee always in here, too. Morning, there's coffee in here. Afternoon, there's tea and or a water bottle. So this little place here... Um, it's, it's neat to hold your phone because it has like this little mat and your phone doesn't slide everywhere. So you can just set your phone down on there. Um, or in here or wherever else you feel like or on that little stand thing, I, holder thing I showed you. Inside, this thing is pretty spacious. I really like this. It, sometimes it becomes ground zero for like just junk for me. It's ground zero for my gum. This is from a big giant pack that I had at Co that I got from Costco. So that's what's left. Boy, my kids got a hold of that. Man, next time I'm going to hide it. And this, you see the minion? <laughs> well, that's our travel DVD player that really doesn't come out that often unless we have like a long road trip. If I go see my family in West Virginia who I miss dearly or whoever else will pull that out. Not for like a short road trip, but if it's like longer than an hour, we'll pull that out and we'll grab a movie and let the kids watch it. All right, I'm going to show you what's on the other sides. And I am now in the passenger side of the car. So this car has two glove compartments. I love that. It's so nice because I can keep everything in here, right? Okay, 
here's one glove compartment this is what I have inside it doesn't it may not look super organized but boy it is to me because sometimes it is really not organized at all up here is like ground zero for electronics I have some charger charging cables extra set of headphones extra um, car adapters this little thing you can plug up your um, obviously anything like with an electrical outlet this is the US one um, and then you can put a USB cord in there my the only thing I don't like about this is there's is there a brand on it the only thing I don't like about this is it's a bit loud but I we got this road pro there you go we got this like oh my gosh it had to be three or four years ago on a road trip to Florida our cord went out on our DVD player and we had to use like the outlet adapter and it was great and I loved it and I, this thing's pretty darn durable you can see it's pretty beat up it doesn't make an appearance all that often but I keep it in here because where else would I use something like that right okay over here on this side is where I keep sheesh okay that's in there over here I have an extra deodorant because you know good and well you've left without deodorant well I keep that in here this is well, it's weird right and when people see it they're like what in the world is that and I actually have a mini one it's a screen cleaner and it keeps screen look I'm gonna show you okay I don't know if this is gonna okay can you see this oh you can't really okay see how dirty that is right let me see if I can hold it in a way where you can see the grime well I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell and I don't know what side you're supposed to do first but you just rub that sucker over top of there and I'm telling you that thing will be sparkling clean look I don't know if you can tell the difference or not but anyway that's what that thing is whoops I just turned my phone on okay and then also up here I have um, two sleeves for if I ever get coffee out it's not very often but when I got these from Whole Foods and there was like it was one of those things that when you buy it it gives back to the people that sell it so I thought they were nice and it benefited the people who make them so I bought two of those one for me one for my husband for our coffees if we ever get it out I'll have to say no thanks to the sleeve it's better for the environment obviously and I can use this one that I purchased also in here I have oh that was I got this at the same time I got this little free coffee punch card so I keep those little you know those little punch cards in here here's one for a place we have here called district taco um, there's those I keep those in one place up here um, this is for it's a car wash book where you just take your car through and they do everything you know they zip it through there I swear it's less than 10 minutes and your car is done inside and out well I use it and I think I only have one left, right? Yeah, I only have one left. But I kind of ration it out because every time my car needs vacuumed, it doesn't always need washed on the outside, you know? So I only use it if I need to have both done pretty bad. Otherwise, I'll just go vacuum the car myself. You know, it only takes a few minutes, so I don't mind. Putting in the work. So down here is another little area of things I have a little first aid kit because someone's always getting a scratch or bleeding or something or another an extra chapstick I think that's one of my girls chapsticks I have a little um, neosporin to go spray that I keep in there um, bug bite stuff couldn't do you guys ever have a kid in the car that's like I have a bug bite that itches so I always keep these in the car and I have to and I actually have a cream somewhere stuffed in here or in the back somewhere for the kids because um, sometimes one might work better than the other who knows why here's an extra chapstick I don't even know how that made that in there Mongo kiss or something and then this is an EpiPen for one of my kids that has a peanut allergy so I always keep that in the car um, I do know that obviously heat can affect things so when it gets really hot in the summer I don't leave the EpiPen in the car I definitely take that out I also have a little sanitizer in here and I keep an EpiPen in my purse also um, okay I have I always like to keep a little notepad on hand um, I don't know why I just do so I have this cute little notepad in my car one of my girls got me this for Mother's Day it says live well laugh often love much oh isn't that sweet <laughs> So I have that this this is a parent's godsend 
um, little um, earplugs for road trips because I can take a heck of a nap if I have some earplugs in <laughs> while well, my husband's driving. So I keep those in the car. This is some little packets of honey. Sometimes if I do go somewhere to get tea or coffee, they don't have honey. They only have sugar. So now I can just say, oh, that's okay. I have some in my car. So I keep a few little packets of honey in here. This all right, anybody who looks at vlogs on YouTube and organization, this is a plastic bag, one of those plastic shopping bags. Now, I was watching, and it, again, it was either Samantha from Happily a Housewife or Kimmy from She's in Her Apron. One of them said, oh, they referred to another vlog of another YouTuber that said that they fold their plastic trash bags for storage, I guess, in the car in a little triangle. And I said, ooh, I'm gonna look on there and see how they do that. Because at the time that I saw that vlog, I always keep, have always kept trash bags in the car, but they were always just like balled up and not folded neatly. So I said, oh, I'm gonna look at how they did it. Well, I never did go look at how they did it, but I thought, well, I'm gonna try it. And I nailed it the first time and I've been doing it ever since. Not that it was that, it was like, it was like three months ago. <laughs> I said ever since, like it's been years. <laughs> it's just been a few months, but I really like it. I wish that I could say exactly who it was so I could give credit where credit is due, but I don't remember, but I did figure out how to do it. You wanna see how to do it? I'm gonna show you how. Here I have a full Target bag. These are the plastic bags that you get from the store. Anybody can do this. Now, the trick that I have found for these bags is you have to fold toward the opening, right? Not, don't leave this part for last. Leave the, I mean, leave this part. Excuse, look at me mess it up. Leave the opening for last. So keep that in mind. So you put your bag down like this and you, you flatten it out and I, get the seams like you know folded the way it was before it got used so I so it's really genuinely like a flat bag right so leave the opening for last the handles for last and you fold in half and you smooth out toward the opening to get the air out you fold again and you smooth out toward the opening to get the air out right Look how neat that is. Now, it wasn't this neat when I first started doing it, but after you do 10 or 12, you figure it out and it's neat. Now, remember like when you were a kid and people would have notes like in middle school? Well, that's kind of, or like the boys did like the footballs, they'd hold them up and like flick them and get in trouble in class. Well, <laughs> it's kind of the same concept. So basically you start here and you take the end and you fold it into a triangle like that. And then crease, fold, crease, fold crease and you just do that all the way up and as you're doing that look at there's the police rolling through now as you're doing this you're gonna the air is gonna kind of push out as you go if you notice that there's like big fat bubbles right here you may want to start over you might not have to you never know now so you do that all the way up until you get to where you have like this little bit of a tail and you have the opening right there right and sometimes it, it may not be perfect. Look, how about that? You fold again. And then you have this little opening and then you just take this and you tuck it in that little opening. Okay? Look. Right? Isn't that cool? So that's what those little bags were. And you can do it too. <laughs> but you really can. It's easy. And if it seems tricky once or twice, just try it again. It's no big deal. You can definitely do it. So the reason I like that whole little technique is because, base, look, see, I didn't do them all perfect, you know, but it's, they're just tidy and it works. And when my kids get out of this car, when we are about 60 seconds from the house, I reach in here and I grab one and I open that sucker up and I say, put your trash in here because there is going to be trash in this car and it drives me crazy. I just can't deal with it. So anyway, that's what all is in this little section. Down here is just a few other little things. This is my little armband that I put my phone in when I go exercise and here I have plastic spoons and forks and knives and extra napkins. And that bag is dingy, right? But it works. So I almost was like, oh, my car needs to be nice and neat and tidy for this whole thing. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna show them what it really looks like. Because this car could stand a good vacuum right now, but 
I wanted to keep it real. Right, I didn't get to it, and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to show them what it really looks like. This bag, I, I swear I think I've had it for two or three years. It was in my other car. Um, it's a little dingy looking too, but this holds all the pens and pencils that are in every little nook and cranny in this car. When I find one, I just put it in here, and I swear, it's like, I, it's like, I, I can't remember the last time I bought pens. The only reason I buy pencils is because my kids need them for school, because they always show up. This little bag is one of my daughter's bags she has in here, like... Like little electronics and stuff. And there's space in here, so she keeps it in here. And then, of course, all of my little materials for my little Sienna. The little car book and all that stuff. So that's what's in there. On this side, down here, same deal. Wipes and tissues. That way, nobody has to say, can you pass me a tissue? And I'm not reaching all over the minivan when we're driving around. Because this thing isn't small. And if somebody wants something, I can't be reaching all over the car. So I like to have everything handy so everyone can just get it themselves. And now I'm in the back of the car. Same thing back here. The kids can put, you know, a tablet or whatever down there on the side in the pocket. Tissues, wipes. So whoever is sitting right here in this seat can just grab whatever it is they need. And same deal over here wipes tissues and a little holder for whatever else i love that and then also back here is this sometimes i'll put like if it's a little like one of the little pocket packs of tissues i'll have right there there might be pens and pencils right there Ooh, that's gross that's dirty see i didn't clean up just for this maybe i should have but oh well anyway and then another drink holder that really doesn't get used except for road trips so and then in the third row, same deal. Tissues and wipes. And this side just has wipes. I like to have tissues over there too, but sometimes I don't. And sometimes I'll find them on the floor. Or sometimes I'll even put them in these little pockets. Um, just so they're handy for the kids. Because, again, I can't be reaching all over the car to give people stuff. If somebody sneezes and needs a tissue or needs to wipe their hands because they want to eat a snack. And... P.S. Let it be known, my car is not a snack-free car. I let my kids eat in the car because sometimes it can take me 20 to 25 minutes to get home. Yeah, can they wait? Sure, they can wait, but you know what? I am good to have snacks in the car. Like, for example, I always have the kids, we have an, we call it the snack bag. Where's the snack bag, Mommy? So in this snack bag today, and this is what I just happen to have thrown in here, I have cheddar bunnies, I have some snackamoles. Those are the little animal crackers. And I have some mandarin oranges and some go-go squeezes. There's an empty bottle of water. And I also keep these handy in the car. So if I have like a big bag of something, they can just put it in these little bags and go on their merry way. So, that's it. That's my car. Not that this bag had anything to do with the organization. And usually my snack bag isn't this big. I usually don't have all this stuff in here, but I went to the grocery store recently. And actually, if you wanna see the vlog where I went to the grocery store, it's a weekly vlog and I'll show you. I mean, I think I went to the grocery store three days in that vlog. Um, but I will try to remember to link that below for you so you can see um, that whole scoop. Here is the trunk of the car. I have my weights that you've had me, that you've seen me use and my vlogs are online. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I'll have those weights with me when I do my morning walks a lot. On this side over here is a, some extra storage. In this extra storage um, is supposed to go this little, um, they call it a jump seat right there. That comes out so you can have just the captain's chairs all by themselves in the middle row. But we have a lot of people in here a lot of the time. So I leave that extra seat in and it just folds back. If you want to take it out, it stores right here. But I have this little extra storage space now since that jump seat's actually in the car. So here I have umbrellas, three of them as you see, one for each one of my girls. So if it starts to rain while we're out, it's not like, oh shoot, I need an umbrella. So I have those three umbrellas there. I have my big giant umbrella for myself and I have um, some ankle weights here that I like to use when I walk and also some gloves. My husband keeps a set of gloves in the car, I guess. If he feels like he has to move something, he likes to keep his hands nice and beautiful. And then 
This is my cooler for when I have Frozen's at the grocery store. I'm not going to be home immediately and my extra grocery store bags that I like to keep in the car. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you liked seeing the inside of my minivan, all those little things that I have in here to make my life easier. Um, tell me about you. Do you What do you do to like keep your minivan or your vehicle? Um, do you have any little tips, little hacks? Share them in the comments down below because I definitely want to know, and so does everybody else. Also, a um, few more little things to make your life easier. Lives easier, lives. Anyway, check right there in that description box and I'll have those for you. And don't forget to click the subscribe button because I'll let you know every time I upload a new video. All right, so let's keep hanging out. I like you. Thanks for checking in with me today, guys. I'll see you next time.